I felt led of the Lord to start this broadcast with an exhortation because there is something that many of us are not doing on a regular basis, and that is memorizing the Word of God. And if there's one thing preserved in the text of Scripture, it's the injunction to record God's words upon the tablet of our heart. Moses exhorts the people of God to impress the words of God upon the tablet of their consciousness. Impress them on your children, says Moses. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down, when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Above all exhorted Moses, do not forget. And of course, Moses was not alone. Think Solomon. When he prayed for a wise and discerning heart, he also was given the discernment to tell his hearers to bind the word of God around their fingers and their necks and to write it on the tablet of their hearts. And I suppose more poignantly yet, the word made flesh. Jesus Christ entreated hearers, let these words sink into your ears. Or I think of Joshua, the Jesus of the Old Testament. He beseeched the people of the promise, do not let this Book of the law, depart from your mouth, meditate on a day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and successful. It's not enough to record the sayings of understanding on a common tablet. It is to be inscribed upon the tablet of one's consciousness. And again, this is one of the reasons that I've written all of my books in an inherently memorable way, all of them forged around acronyms so that you might not only remember but recall the information, in other words, be able to use it to make a difference while there is yet time. An exhortation that God placed on my heart as I was walking into the studio